And again, if we continue walking down, it means that we are walking down in history too. That used to be a quarry, part of the quarry of King Herod. You can see the quarry right here. You can see that they use it because of the white stone to the Jewish temple that he built. And according to tradition, that's where St. Helen found the temple, uh, the true cross. Before that, you can hear the bells, I don't know, I don't know if you can hear it. They use it as a um, uh, water system. From there, the buckets went in, and you can see that there are lots of plaster around the walls. That is the place that Mary, St. Helen, found the three crosses. Remember, Jesus was crucified with another two. They tried the first one. Um, according to the story, you took a sick woman. She touched the first cross, nothing happened. She touched the second cross, nothing happened. She touched the third cross, you know exactly what's happened. And that's how they found uh, the uh, cross of Jesus that was here for many years, but then it was stolen by the enemies of the Muslims, uh, sorry, of the Christians, uh, and he brought back. We don't know where the cross now. In that church, there's a small chapel uh, that, according to tradition, there's a small piece of the true cross in it. Let's continue. And let's climb up the stairs. On the way, I wanted to see so many graffitis on the wall. Of crosses.